Hey guys, EC Services. I'm just doing some work on my trailer. Um, I painted the wood behind here. And I'm going to paint the rest of it. It's looking kind of funky. I repainted the fender, but it doesn't look quite right. So this is the before. I've already done the other side. I haven't done the tailgate yet, so let's do that. Let's go over there and look at it janky tool set. What I'm using is a Lowe's Special Rust-Oleum Bed Line Truck Bed Coating. It's great. I've used it on a bunch of stuff. I've even refinished a guitar and it turned out perfect. And I got a sweet amount of money for it. So it worked out really good. I've got some on this top of this too just previously. I'm going to put some more anchors in the trailer. So this is after I haven't done the neck. I put some U-bolts along the way. I'm probably going to put a few more. I'm, I covered off the wheels like that. This is the bed liner. I did up there and I taped that off. My light's off. Well, not that light because it's it's junk. It, it's broken. It don't even work. But I taped that light off. So this is what it looks like right now. It looks really nice, I, I think. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of shadowy. But there are some runs. <laughs> That's not for me. That's from the pre when I, when I bought it new, apparently. They had white stripes, as you can see from the beginning of the video. Those white stripes on here. And that must have broke those lines up where you couldn't see runs. It's kind of cheap that they did that, but, well, it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it now. So I'm going to go back over it with the uh, truck bed liner. It's kind of almost a flat kind of. You can tell it's right here, and this is shiny, and this is the truck bed liner. Um, it should hold up really well because those fenders have been getting scratched so bad every time I work with it because this is a trailer I work with. It's not a beauty project, so... Anyway, this is my update. This side's finished. I'm going to truck bed line the tailgate and then fold it down. A friend of mine is going to weld these up front, which I'll make a video, a final video of it. Um, it just takes some time. I'm getting over a cold. That's why I'm disgusting sounding. So um, these holes are so I can wrap chains around to chain my equipment in. It's here in Tennessee. It's, uh, well, I'm, I'm sure it's like that everywhere, but if I don't have 10,000 pound logging chain, it's gone. I mean, w within just a little bit, even the hydraulic bolt cutters will cut it, but it takes them forever. And I'm usually out here before, by then there's my logging chain and a pile of it. It's kind of sad that I have to do that, but it's the times we live in and I'm sure you guys have had stuff stolen. I've had a lot stolen. I'm just a one-man show, so every time something's stolen, it hurts, man. It hurts real bad. So, anyway, trailer update. I'm going to do the tailgate next, finish this other side up. And I'm not going to put wood back here. I just don't see a need for it to spend extra money because all my, my weight, I always center it. The, f the back axle forward somewhere between here and here so that it rides real nice, real, real, real good. So I'm going to paint the t toolbox too. I'm going to do that after I pull everything off. I'm going to paint the neck. It hasn't been fully painted since I bought it new. So this is a first time for it. We'll replace this light here in a few minutes. So I'll stop rambling. I'll give you another update uh, probably the next two weeks or so when I put it up for the winter. Thanks guys. Hope you're having a good day. And uh, try to make your trailers presentable because you know that's that's a, a good part of it is visual. And I know a lot of you guys know that. You're watching Spencer's Lawn Care, Geek to Freak, Top Notch. There's just so many. They have good ideas, and that's why I got some of this bolt idea, U-bolts, to put my wood in. They were zip-tied, but that didn't work out very well. Anyway, like it if you do. Don't like it if you don't. Subscribe. There's going to be a lot more videos like this, and uh, I'm hoping to make better ones soon. Thanks, guys.